I always love getting back to my second home of salt and sand. For this homecoming, I had invited two friends along for the trip. Sean, who had recently purchased his first kayak, and my old college buddy Tom, who had never kayak fished before. As always, there was much anticipation and excitement as we wondered what adventures were to come. Get ready for more extreme kayak fishing action from way out beyond the breakers. You are watching BTB Adventures with your host, Jason Ballou. to you by BigSharkTackle.com, your source for extreme kayak fishing accessories and big game tackle. Just got out here and put a chunk of meat out on a float and it wasn't out there a few seconds before it went under and apparently my line got caught around the swivel or something. It cut the line really quick right above the leader. So apparently there's a, something out here. We're going to try again. Hey, look right there. Here goes my shark. Maybe I can go in there and catch that shark again. That, if he, maybe he doesn't know he's hooked yet. Uh oh! Fish on! forever and I don't think I've ever actually used it. But now seems like a really good time. See that slows me down enough to slow him down some. Okay, I've had this shark on half an hour or so I guess, I don't know. But I'm beginning to wonder if he even knows he's hooked yet because he's drugged me maybe a half a mile. And we don't seem to be making any progress. <laughs> so I think I am going to have to ease down on this drag ever so slightly. This is scary. See what happens. See if we can make a little progress. I don't want to spend all day out here on one fish. I hear this huge splash behind me a second ago. I look back and there's about a four or five foot shark of some sort coming around underneath me. I don't know what's going on with that. Progress. I'm to think I might see this guy someday. Okay, finally got him in. It's a big old jack. I thought it was a shark the whole time he was putting up such a fight. I got him wrapped around. There we go. Lesson to be learned. That was a big guy. 
Next time I'll need to bring in this drift. Okay, it's afternoon now, had some lunch. We got the shark rig again, got smoked. Five foot of 400 pound mono. We got the 16 knot circle hook with the barb shaved off. Okay, we got a shark on now. That's official. As I was trying to wear my shark out enough to be able to get the hook out, Sean hooked up on his very first shark. This was a really bad time to find out that my pliers were old and worn out. Even though the hook had no barb on it, I still had the hardest time getting that hook out of the shark's mouth. The shark finally finished off the job. Got him off. Finally, he's got himself off. Later that day, we were joined by Tom. He was pretty pumped about the idea of catching a shark. All right, Tom's first shark bait in the water. We're gonna catch a shark, baby, a shark. And then we're gonna eat him. The next day, things were super slow. We couldn't even get the hardheads to bite. But we did have some excitement anyway when Tom went over for the first time. It's a good thing that I was able to get out of Jump shark infested waters. I don't think there's any sharks out here. We, <laughs> we have zero evidence for any sharks out here these days. Um, yeah, I was kind of glad at that moment, really. I thought maybe that was for the best. So, what happened? Did you just. Dude, I was just sitting here in a wave. <laughs> Slammed into me and knocked me over. Okay. Simple as that. Random, random act of violence. <laughs> like out of nowhere. Kawam. When he went over, the tether didn't work and the pole went straight to the bottom. I was really glad he was fishing with a shark float. Got my fishing pole back. This is my favorite pole, so. Hey, in the camera. 
Okay. It was our last morning fishing together and Sean started us off with this nice Creval Jack. As we were trying to get Sean's fish in, we kept hearing Tom off in the distance yelling, but we couldn't figure out what in the world he was trying to say. Okay, hang on. Hang tight, I'm fishing this one. kayak fishing. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about bringing them in the boat or what. Okay, we'll see. Well, now that he's hooked right there, maybe you can reach the pliers. That'll keep them since you're hooked on your line. <laughs> <laughs> maybe he has a shark chasing him. <laughs> maybe, that's what's it, maybe that's why he's yelling so much over there. <laughs> Is a shark chasing you, or you got one on your line? First shark, man, I'm keeping it. Oh my gosh. You gotta hit him hard. Um, Hit him real hard. That gap's not very sharp either, so. Okay, hang on. I'll tell you what. Let's do some. Do you have those gloves? You have gloves? My advice would be to not bring a shark into your kayak unless absolutely necessary. If you do, remember that they are surprisingly strong and will clamp down on anything that gets near their mouth. This was Tom's first shark, so he wanted to take it home and cook it up. Okay, Tom, how are you feeling right now? Woo! <laughs> awesome, baby! I just got a shark! In the end, Sean and Tom both had to get back home. We hadn't caught as many fish as I had hoped, but we did catch some and Sean and Tom both caught their first sharks, so I considered it a successful trip. <laughs>